Hi, and welcome back to Hypershade Tutorial's third person mini series. In the last episode, we just made our character walk and the camera to orbit the character when we're in idle. So we're just going to run the game quickly and go through that. Okay, so this is what we had set up. So we could move the camera around the character like so. We could look up, we could look down, and whatever it is. Now we could also walk forward, we could walk back, left, and right right and left now the problem we faced was that if we are looking at the direction our camera is our character doesn't turn and face that direction instead it will just keep walking forward now depending on the type of game you make you can leave the system like that it's entirely your choice now I don't like that and I'm gonna have the character changing directions depending on the cameras z-axis so let's stop the game let's go back into the script we made um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare some variables we need. So I'm going to separate this. Now to do that, put header, open bracket, put strings in here, so two speech marks, and I'm going to call this. I'm going to call this um, player rotation reset, like so. Okay, so this will help us break down the variables in the inspector mode. So I'm going to make a new robot underneath here. And I'm going to call this, make this a float. And I'm going to put some rotation speed. Like so. I'm not going to assign any value to it. I'm just going to leave it as it is at that, uh, for now. I'm going to go down here and make another variable. I'm going to call this public quaternion. Okay, and I'm going to call this um, new reset angle, like so. Once we've done that, I think that's the rules we need for now, so I'm happy with that. Actually, no, we need one more. Public camera, this is your main camera. And I'm going to call this cam. Right. Let's go back into your fix update. Just before we start putting the player input to use, let's make a new line above this. I'm just going to put a comment. I'm going to say player rotation to cam. In here, I'm going to say if open bracket, close bracket, open curly braces. Inside the two brackets, I'm going to say input dot get button open bracket, two speech marks, I'm going to put vertical, like so, closing bracket, uh, or input dot get button, open bracket, two speech marks, horizontal. like so, and a closing bracket. We should have two closing brackets at the end. One closes the first bracket, second one closes the horizontal, and the vertical one closes the vertical. And inside these two curly braces, let me just undo that. Um, so I'm going to type in <coughs> new reset angle equals Quaternion dot Euler open bracket and inside here I'm going to say Z I mean X I don't want nothing to happen so I'm going to leave that as it is and for the Y I'm going to put camera so show for cam the one we made above dot main sorry not main dot transform dot Euler angles dot Y comma zero for Z and a closing semicolon to close that off then I'm going to get the place transform transform this is the current object we have selected so we don't need to get any reference to it dot rotation equals quaternion dot slope open bracket it's going to ask you for three 
conditions a quaternion in a a quaternion in b and a float so the quaternion in a is the actual object we're trying to rotate on its rotation and the quaternion in b is going to be the new rotation angle which is a new reset angle we've made above so for this one i'm going to say transform dot rotation um comma then we'll put new reset angle okay comma and then the final one we're going to put in our float which is our reset the reset what do i call it I call it reset or something else. Rotation speed. There we go. Rotation speed times time. Dot delta time. After this, close in bracket, put a dot and select normalized and a close in semicolon. And that will get our player to rotate towards the camera direction. And I'm just going to quickly demonstrate that. So I'm going to hit save. Go back into Unity let our scripts update um almost done it's gonna be a very short tutorial really. video sorry hit play now previously you remember if we were walking and our camera is facing a different direction our player did not used to update its rotation angles so if i were to walk now it used to walk forward but now because of that condition we put in it will automatically turn and face in the right direction on its set so if I walk forward now oh I forgot to assign something apologies so stop your game go here and you're going to, need to assign your camera so that's the camera we have here please do not assign the CMF uh, CM free look cam I'm going to rename this camera to something else I'm going to call this main cam okay like so um, automatically I get updated over here that's fine rotation speed you need something but we'll do that live so I'm gonna run the game right so we can walk forward we can walk backwards left and right now if we were to walk and we change our camera direction we want this player to turn with that camera now it's currently not doing anything because the rotation speed is set to zero. So if I set this to 0 0.5 or 8, whatever it is, you'll see what happens. The camera will rotate and the player will follow that rotation of the camera with your mouse movement. So if I leave the mouse dead end like so, the character won't rotate. If I move this way, the character will rotate. Now the rotation speed is quite slow. I'm going to set it to 2.5. And if I walk backwards, which is correct, there you go. See, walking backwards, adjust the camera as well. Walking forward, and I'm just going to turn this way, and the character should change directions automatically. There you go. It's a simple little fix, and that's how you get that sorted out. If we stop moving, we can rotate around the camera, around the player, look up and down. And if I walk forward now, he will change directions and walk the other way. Okay walk back works fine walk left right works fine forward back left right and left good now you can set the speed to what you like I normally leave it at 5 okay like so and there we have it that's how you solve that and in the next tutorial we're gonna go through adding animations to our player so we'll have the walk walk back straight left and right and a couple of animations that we need for friend the object and so forth thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial as always please like please leave a comment and subscribe do hit the notification icon to keep yourself updated i shall catch you soon thank you very much